Hello guys, welcome back to the Debug Arena. In this video, I'm going to make a video calling application with our React Native. I'm not going to make just a one-on-one -on -one video calling application, but I'm going to make it with just 10 lines of code. Yes, you heard it right. Just 10 lines of code and we are ready with our video calling application. Now, you might be thinking how it is possible. Yes, it is possible by using a cloud platform known as Zego Cloud. Zego Cloud is a cloud platform that provides us free UI kit and SDK to achieve this type of functionality. We will talk about the benefits of the Zego Cloud and what are the more things it offers. But first, let me show you the demo of the application which we are going to make with the help of Zego Cloud SDK. You can see here, this is my application and currently it is running on two devices. One is Samsung M31 and another one is Samsung A33. Now, I am going to make the video call between these two devices. For that, I will take the first device which is M31 and I will write my name which is others and here I will pass the number. This number should be unique. So, I will pass here 1, 2, 3, 4 and now I will click on this join call. Okay, I am inside the call. Now, I will rotate the camera and you will be able to see my keyboard. Now, I will take another phone and now in this, I will enter the name as a debug and I will enter the number which will be same 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I will click on this join call. And you can see, we have successfully made video call from one device to another. As of now, my voice is also echoing, so I will mute my mic. So, okay, it's done. You can see how easily we have created video call between these two devices. Also, I have got another options like I can mute my mic, I can mute my speaker, I can rotate the camera. Also, I can stop the video and I can hang up. When one device just got out, another one only remains. So, let's create this application. Okay, so the first step in making the application is that we have to go to Google and search for zegocloud.com. Echo Cloud is a cloud platform that provides us free voice and video chat API. Not only this, it provides us many other features like it provides us fully customizable UI kit and SDK so that we can implement this much feature in our application with just few lines of code. Yes, you heard it right. We can implement video call, voice call, live streaming, in-app chat, cloud recording and many much more with just few lines of code and all of these things for free. And also, we can implement Zego Cloud with any programming language like you can see here, it doesn't matter whether we write code in Android, iOS, Web, Flutter, it provides us a way to integrate Zego Cloud in all of these programming languages. Also, for the free version, it doesn't require any credit card and it gives us up to 10,000 minutes of video calling and voice calling and in-app chat. So, I think this is very much good to get starting with. To use Zego Cloud, first we need to do the sign up. So, you can click here. The sign up process is very simple. I have already signed up and done the login. When you will do the login, you will be navigated to this dashboard. Now, from here, we have to click on this create project. And I am going to make this voice and video call. So, I will select this. Now, I will click on this next option. After that, I will give my project name, which is YouTube. Now, I will scroll down. And here you can see, we have two ways to start with. First one is UI kit and another one is SDK. So I prefer this UI kit. So I will click on this start with UI kit. In UI kit, it also provides us option to customize the UI layout. So let's do that. My project is building. I will click on this start building your app. Okay. I'm going to select this React Native. Okay, done. Now here you can see this type of option. So I want this one-on-one -on -one call and with the call invitation and the standard face beautification. If you want other features also, then you have to buy premium. But I think this much is okay. Now I will click on this save and start to integrate. Okay, you can see here this is my app ID and this is my app sign. Make sure you don't share this with anyone. Now I will click on this quick start. Now here you will get all the steps to integrate Zego Cloud in our React Native application. All these steps I'm going to show you in this video. So I will scroll down. So the first thing is we have to build our React Native application. So I think I have already done that. Let me just open the application. As of now, this is my application. Currently in my app.js, there is nothing here. It is just hello. Also, I have not done any configuration. So let's do that. For that, I will go to documentation. Here, I will copy this command. We have to run this command. Then I will go to my CMD. Here, I will paste that command and hit on enter. After this, we have to run this command also. So I will copy this. Let's see another step until this package is installing. So after this, this is the example of how we can do the video calling. And you can see only these lines of code are required to build a video calling app. So I will just scroll down and I think we have to add this also. So I will copy this and we have to add this inside 
src main android manifest dot xml so i will go there is my android app build okay not build src and here there is inside main that is android manifest dot xml so i will come here and i will paste that we'll save this let me just follow another steps so this step is done now i will scroll down now i have to add this so i will copy this and we have to add this inside this file which is android app pro guard rules dot pro and this was the setup for android for ios you can get the steps below so i will go here i have to go inside android app and you can see here pro guard rules dot pro so i will come here and i will paste that lines and i will save this let's wait for the installation to complete okay it is done now let me just copy the another command which was this i will just scroll up all the steps were done only this step is remaining so i will copy this I will go to my cmd i will paste that hit enter it is installing we have to also integrate stack navigation in our react native application for that i will go to react navigation if you want to learn react navigation from start you can check out my other video in that i have shown how you can create stack navigator how you can create draw navigator and how you can merge them and use them in your react native application for this project i will just scroll down and we have to run this package so i will copy this and go to my cmd okay this was done now i will run this command then i will just scroll down a little bit and here you can see we have to run this also so i will copy this i will again go to cmd let's wait for the installation to complete okay now i will run this hit enter this is done we have to go to navigators and we have to use stack navigator so i will click on this native stack i can copy this command so from react navigation we have to install three packages and from Zego Cloud, we have to install all these packages one and two. And we have to do this thing inside Android Manifest and this inside ProGuard Rules.Pro. This was it for the installation process. We'll run this last command. It is done. Let's start with the coding. So I will restart my application. Okay, currently I'm in app.js and currently there is nothing. So I will remove this text from here. And here I want to integrate our navigation. So for that, I will import one package known as navigation container sorry not package it is component from Re react navigation native for that i will go to documentation of react navigation from here i can copy this thing and also this stack navigator you just copy this i will go there if you want to learn how to implement stack navigator then you can go and check out my previous videos so first here i will import my stack navigator and inside return I will write here navigation container which is parent component and inside this I can pass my stack dot navigator but here you can see inside stack dot navigator there will come stack dot screen and my screen's name but currently I am having no screen so let's create that so I will remove this I will come here and I will create a folder here name as components that component I will make two pages which is home page dot js and another one will be call page dot js let me just do something inside home page so i will create a function here i will return the text here and this i will pass home page first i will export this okay done now i will copy this i will go to call page i will paste the same thing i will just replace home page with call page i will save this i will go to my app.js so this is my first screen which is home and its component will be home page so i will remove this i will write here home page and it would be imported so that here i will import my call page and my name will be call page we'll save this and it is done so you can see here currently this is the output and here i'm getting cannot find variable create native stack navigator okay i haven't imported it so let's import it so i will write here import create native stack navigator and it will be imported from react navigation native stack i will save this and here i'm getting this error react okay from the new update, we have to add this line in every JS file, which is import React from React. I think it should solve the error. We'll copy this. I will paste this inside call page also, and done. So you can see my home page is visible. Now let's go to home page and let's create the layout. So here, the first thing which I will create is text input. So let's get started. So first, I will write here view, which will be imported from React Native, and inside this, I will import text input from react native paper inside view i will pass styling as container and inside text input we don't have to pass like this text input should be like this 
Here I will pass style as input. This holder as enter your name. Let me quickly add styling here. Okay, this is my styling and its variable name is styles. Okay, I was getting error. And here I will import this style sheet like this. Now I will save this and you can see it is looking good. Now I will create a button here and button should have title and title will be join call. Okay, I will save this. Okay, let's import button. It is done. It is looking good. Now let me just create the state so that we can store this text input value. There name will be name comma set name. I'm going to use use state. Now I will come to text input and I will write on change text and in this we can pass e and we will set name to e okay done now i will go to button and here we can call the one function known as on press and in this function what we will do we will try to navigate to call page for that inside this home page i can get the navigation from props and we are getting the props and navigation because of this navigation container okay now i will come inside this and here I can write navigation dot navigate and we have to navigate to which page call page and this name should be same as this inside this stack navigator. Okay, this is done. I will save this. Now I will click on this join call and I'm navigating to this call page. Okay, now I don't just have to navigate. I also have to take data like this name to that page. For that I will come here and I can write data and it will be name. Now I will save this and I will go to call page here. I will just write console.log. First, I will receive the props again. Why I am receiving the props? Because of this navigation container. And in this props, I can get all the things. So I will write here props dot route dot params. And I will save this. I will open my console. This is my console, and I will click on this join call. And you can see inside data I am getting null. Okay, sorry, I haven't written anything. So I will write here some random digits. I will click on join call and you can see I am getting the data. So here I will create a variable name as name. And in this I can store this props.route.params and at last we can store dot data. Okay, this is also good. Now I will go to our documentation of Zego Cloud. Okay, now from here I will just scroll up to see the example. So the first thing is I will copy this to import one on one video call. I will go to my application, paste that here. Then now I will again go to documentation. I will copy all these things. I will come here instead of this text. I will paste that. Also, I will paste our styling from home page and I will import the style sheet in React Native. Okay, I will remove this styling which is of input. I will save this. Here you can see this is my UI kit. And here we have to pass our app ID and app sign. Also inside this user ID, we have to pass user ID. So instead of user ID, we can pass name. And instead of this username, we can pass again the name. And we are getting from the previous screen, which is coming from this route.pams.data. And you know this call ID, this call ID is the main thing which is organizing this call. So this call ID is always should be open. So as of now, I'm passing it at static because we have to do a one-on-one -on -one video call. But in the end of the video, I will make it dynamic also. So this should be unique. And as of now, I'm keeping it static. So here we can pass a unique number, which is this call ID. And I will save this. Okay, I haven't imported view here. So let me just import view. And I think uh, we are good. And here inside this config, we have imported this one-on-one -on -one video call config. And here we have written on, on only self room and on hang up. So on hang up, we have to navigate to home page. But our home page name is home. So it will navigate to home. Same thing for when we press the back button, we have to navigate to home. Now I will save this. Let's open the application. This is my application. I will enter the name. I will click on join call. You can see I'm getting here. Okay, can't find variable your app ID. Okay, so let me put my app ID and app sign. So for that, I can go to Zego Cloud. And here you can see this is my app ID and this is my app sign. You can paste your own app ID and app sign. So I will copy this. I will come here, I'll paste that. Make sure to paste app ID without string and app sign inside string. I will save this. Now I will open my application. I will enter the name. Click on this join call. In the permission, you can see it is visible. Now my video call has been started and I have switched the camera and my keyboard is visible. So I will just do hang up. 
So this is totally working fine. Now if I run this application in two devices, then I can do video calling between these two applications. Okay, so at the start, you might have seen that we were having two input boxes. One was for name and the another was for number. And here the name which we are getting, we are populating it inside this username and user ID and the number which we will get, we will populate that inside this call ID. But as this is one-on-one -on -one video call, we cannot make this call ID dynamic because for one-on-one, -on -one, this call ID should be unique. So to make this call ID dynamic, what we have to do, I can remove this one-on-one -on -one video call and I will come at the top and I will import group video call config. Now I will come here, three dots and here I will write group video call config. Okay, it should be three dots and in group video call config, we will have to remove this. Okay, here I have to give comma, I will save this, I will go to home page, I will copy this text input, I will paste that here. I will change it to enter your number and here I will create another state which will be const call id and set call id. Now I will come here and pass set call id. I will save this. Then after this we have to pass that data here. So I will come here. I will pass here id equal to call id which is our state. Not like this. Like this. Okay it is done. I will save this. Then again I will go to call page. I will copy this. Instead of name I will accept here id. Here also we are passing instead of data, we are passing ID. I will save this and instead of this call ID, I'm going to pass a dynamic like this. Okay, I will save this. I will try to restart my application and I'm going to open my application in two devices. So let's do that. You can see here, this is my application. Now I will try to enter my name. Then I will enter a random number, which is 9876. I will click on join call while using the app. And yes, I'm inside the call. Then from another device, I will again enter some random name and my number will be 876 9876. I will click on join call while using the app. You can see here I am able to do the group call. So first I will just mute my mic. Okay, done. And now you can see here there is an option of participants. When I click there, I will get to see all the participants who were in my group call. So this is how we can make video calling application with React Native using Zego Cloud with just few lines of code. Also one more thing, if you are changing this line from one on one video call to group video call, make sure to uninstall that and then again install it. That's it for the video. You can go to Zego Cloud and use their other UI kit and SDK and let me know how good they are. Also, if you see any improvement in this project or how I can improve it, then please let me know in comments. Also, if you have any doubt about the tutorial, then also you can ask that thing in comment. Thank you.